So it's no secret, the F1 2020 calendar this year is pretty crazy to be fair. And we are going to some absolutely magical locations, you know, Portimao, Mugello, returning to Imola. And most recently confirmed, we are going back to the Nürburgring in Germany. This track, of course, hasn't hosted an F1 race since F1 2013, I believe. So quite a while now, seven years. And a lot has changed, especially with the cars in that time. So I thought to myself, you know what? I've done videos of me racing 2020 F1 cars around Mugello, around um, Imola as well, and also other tracks, I think Portimao as well. So if you haven't seen those videos, guys, I will leave them linked up in the top right-hand corner of your screen. But I thought to myself, the one I haven't done yet is Nürburgring. So today we are racing an F1 2020 car, more specifically the black Mercedes of Lewis Hamilton around what would be called the Eiffel Grand Prix at the Nürburgring. So let's jump into it and let's get down to business. Now, one thing I want to mention, guys, if you are new to my channel and you want to see more content like this, then drop me a like and also subscribe if you are new, guys. I'm trying to hit 50,000 subs by the end of the year. That's my target. So any help would be massively appreciated. But here we are then on Assetto Corsa once again, as you can see with the black Mercedes, and we are at the Nürburgring. Now, of course, this isn't the exact black Mercedes, the W11. It's a generic F1 2020 mod on Assetto Corsa, but we have the, of course, the Mercedes livery on it, which, to be fair, looks absolutely fire. Even on the wide nose, it looks insane. So. Big, big fan of it. You guys know I've done lots of videos with this mod before. It's such good quality. I'll leave a link down below in the description, guys, to the mod if you guys want to test it out for yourselves. I believe it costs two euros, and it's so worth the money because you can mod it out with the custom skins and make it look absolutely insane. But without further ado, let's hop onto the track. We're going to do one hot lap just to give you guys a bit of a track guide, and then we're going to jump into a quick race with some AI cars. As I've always done with this series, we're going to go for a track guide really quickly. So tires up to temperature. Let's do a lap of the Nürburgring. So the final corner to try and start the lap off right. It gets very tight on the exit. It does definitely catch you out. We're going to open up the DRS on the pit straight. I'm guessing the first of two DRS zones. Down towards turn number one then. Bit of a blind braking spot. I kind of break as the curb appears on the left-hand side. Turn one is very understeery, so be careful, especially in slow speed. These faster, heavier cars will struggle. Turn two, use fourth gear, pick up that downforce, and then we plunge downhill towards turn three. This is a very tricky corner, this one, because you've got to sacrifice it to open up turn four as much as you can, using all the runoff there on the left-hand side, and that is going to end sector one. Down towards turn five, down to fifth gear, and then again, there's lots of different lines you can take. I like to open up turn six and sacrifice a bit of the exit, using the curb on the exit to get a lot of speed and a good exit down the hill towards the hairpin curve. I'm going to try and fourth gear through here, see if that works for us. Looks like there's a little bit of understick kicking in, but there is a bit of camber on the corner so that helps keep the car tucked in. We now go up towards the Schumacher S, trying to avoid the curbs. They are quite high, they tend to destabilize the car. And we now approach this beautiful 90 degree banked left hander. Use the inside of the corner to really carry the speed. And now through the next right, try and keep the car nice and tight, pick up the gas on the exit open up the DRS and that is going to be in the sector 2. This section in real life is going to be absolutely insane with the fast of course cars in real life and the downforce levels they have. Now out towards the chicane, third gear, easy over the curbs, don't be too aggressive and then back on the gas on the exit as we now approach the final corner. A lot of understeer through here and like I said the corner tightens up right on the exit so give it plenty of respect as we now open DRS, run up to the line and we set a 129.5 in what is a pretty casual lap but I can't wait in real life to see how the cars will drive around this track. But we're now going to move into a race with some AI cars. Right, we are doing a race at the Nürburgring. I believe it's 10 laps. And we are starting from the back of the grid. And not just at the back, we are starting at the final corner at the final curve. So a very, very interesting one, this one. It's going to be quite a tricky start, but we'll try and give it our best shot. And hopefully it works out. 20 car grid, of course. And we are starting from the back as the champion, Lewis Hamilton. So let's jump into it and let's see how the race goes. And fingers crossed we can try and have a good race. And fingers crossed the AI are not too sketchy around here because that's what happens on a set of course. But anyway, let's get racing. Right, here we go. The lights are coming on for a six-lap race here at the Nürburgring. Lights out, away we go on a curve. Oh, trying to get a start. Back end getting all loosey-goosey there, but we're away. All right, let's go down towards turn one then. Let's see what we can do. Full engine power. We're now going to start to turn the engine down a little bit. Got to slip to the inside here and find a few places into the first corner. Full lock on the wheel. Trying to avoid contact if I can, as best as I can. The AI, of course, not the best on a Soto Corsa. Around the outside of this Alpha here, who's on the inside at the moment. Can we get the inside line through turn four? Yes, we can. And his teammate gets loose for good measure, so we can get them both. 
Here we go. On the inside. Oh, that was close. Very close with the racing point there. We're going to go for the cutback. Power down. Let's see if we can get a run down towards the hairpin. Obviously worth noting, this is a Seto Corsa. Every single car on this grid is exactly the same. They're just different skins. So even though it looks like we're driving a Mercedes, we're all driving the same car. So let's not read into it too much. I'll try and drive this one like it's a Merc, but I'm not holding my breath too much. We're getting a run here on this Alfa Tari. Down the inside we go. We're going to get the power down and get the move done, I think. Around the outside, trying to use the downforce, and we do. That was a tight one, but we're through. I think we're up to like P15, 14 maybe. We've had a brilliant first lap, actually. Really, really good. Up towards the chicane. Oh, rear's getting a bit loose there. Gotta be careful with the rear tyres. Lap one, though, draws to a close. There's actually quite a lot of grip at this final corner, to be fair. More than I thought, but there we go. Let's see what position we are. It's going to update at the bottom of the screen across the line. P13. Wow, what a first lap. That's what I'm talking about, baby. All right, then. Let's see if we can get a few more places this lap and try and creep into the top 10. Oh, getting a bit loose there. Gotta be careful with the curbs around this track. At the minute, we're not running on full difficulty air. I think we're running 98.5 out of 100 because this is a proper track. Unlike previous times, we've gone around mod circuits uh, where the AI are inconsistent. This is a proper track, so the AI are properly calibrated around here, so it's quite difficult to um, beat them on 100% AI. But here we go. We've got the one well on the racing point here. Do I dare go for the move? Yes, we do, down the inside. Oh, getting loose there, and we get hit as well for good measure. Bit of contact, actually. Head to the final corner, we're going to go side by side. With, I think that's Lance Stroll, if I'm not mistaken. Good exit from us, though. Can we get the legs on the racing point? DRS now enabled on lap three. I'm giving him the squeeze, but he's having none of it. He's skipping his car there. Oh, I've gone a bit long on the brakes down to turn one. Can we get this move done? Yes, we do. There we go. That was a tough one, but we've got it in the end. Bit scruffy. All right, good pace. 128.7. That's quicker than what we did in, of course, the hot lap guide. Closing in now on the cars ahead. So we should have DRS very soon, hopefully, if we keep this up. Currently P12 behind Danny Kvyat. Alex Albon in front of him in the Red Bull. Here we go, but I'm behind Kvyat now. We are going to have DRS on this lap. I wonder if we can have a little look. A little cheeky look into the chicane, maybe. Full engine power. We're gaining a lot. I think it's not going to be enough, though. Not quite. Let's see if we can try and find a way through. The back end gets so loose on me through there. It's really, really scary. Second dose of DRS, of course, now on the pit straight, but I don't think we're going to be close enough here. I've often struggled to get the exit on the AI out of here and get the traction, so we're going to have to sit behind for a little bit longer as we go into lap five. Oh, I've had a good exit there. I'm pretty damn close. You can really feel the dirty air when you get close through another car just struggles to stick the front end there's no downfalls at all i wonder if we can get a good exit here get him up for the schumacher s into the brake zone gonna go for a wide line through here fourth gear short shift power down that's not bad i think we can do this if we keep it flat through here we'll get the momentum up the hill here we go down the inside of kafia nice move this time nice and clean can we get the rebel as well for good measure? Will we be close enough? The rebels had a pretty poor exit. I think we can do this. Here we go on Albon down the inside. Oh no, catch it! Whew. Wow, I was close. Hamilton and Albon almost come together once again. I had to hold my breath there big time. I thought I was gone. I don't know how I caught that. The cars are pretty unsafe on the Soto Corsa when it comes to those kind of incidents. Whew. Got Kofi out. I can see him in my right mirror looking for a move into turn one. But we'll hopefully stay in front. He's having a look again, but no way through. P11. One more to go until we get to the points. I wonder if we can get the exact same move as last time, maybe. Stay close through here and then try and power down out of there. Flat out through the Schumacher S once again. A little bit of dirty air kicking in, but that's okay. And there we go. We've got the run on him. We'll go down the inside. There we go, a little bit of contact in the process, but there we go. Easy does it. And we're now up into the top 10, into the points. Up next is Mr. Lando Norris, Perez ahead of him. Let's see if we can hunt these guys down and just get a, get a few more points. Here we go again, same move one more time. Getting a bit loose on the exit there, but I think we should be okay. Lando does have a slight slipstream from Perez in front, but I don't think that's going to affect things too badly. 
This is definitely the overtaking spot. I wonder if we can get Perez this time, if I can stay close through the right-hander here. Wait for the DRS. We're a little bit far away, I think, to get a move on the racing point driver here. Yeah, we're not quite close enough. It's a shame, I'd love to go for a couple of dives into the chicane, but I'm able to get the exit just quiet. I'm pretty close this time, though. I wonder if I can get him onto the pit straight into turn one, maybe. Get to pull off a move into the first corner. Back end struggles to get traction down there, but here we go, DRS. Can we have a look on the brakes into the first corner? We're closing in. Whoa, I wasn't expecting that. That was very last minute, but we made it work. Perez broke so much earlier than I expected. Whew, what a move. Reactions like a cat. Oh, you know what's coming, boys. It's that time again. We've caught up to the back of Ricardo, who's behind the Ferrari of Sebastian Vettel. Let's see if we can get the run through here one more time. We're not as close as we have been. I think it's still going to be enough, though. Down the inside. Nice move. Now we've got to get past the Ferrari. DRS, can we get Seb here? We're closing in. Come on, come on. Oh, not enough. Going on to the last half of the race now. Running out of time to get these moves done. Let's see if we can stay close to Seb this time. Running the engine mode a little bit earlier. Through the final corner. Oh, picking up some understeer mid-corner, but we are close enough. Here we go, another turn one move coming up right now, boys. On the last half of the race. Down the inside. Nice and comfortable on the brakes. Leave some room. Seb actually holding on around the outside. Credit to him. We're going to go around the outside of turn two. That's going to give us the line into three. There we go. Nice move. We get it slowed down on the brakes later than Sebastian Vettel. Carlos Sainz next up in the McLaren. I'm giving it everything here. I'm pushing as hard as I can. We should get the run on Sainz up through the Schumacher S. This is for P5. We're gaining. Here we go. Down the inside. Oh, run that in a bit hot on the brakes there. We'll still stay in front of Sainz, which is good. But I don't think we're going to be able to get any more positions in this race. DRS on the back straight. We've got Bottas ahead. Closing in on Mr. Max Verstappen for the podium. Through the final chicane. Just taking it easy through there. Trying to get the power down as best as I can. But I think that's it, boys. Leclerc's going to win it. It's going to be Mr. George Russell in second place in the Williams, because that's the way I sort the grid out. He's managed to hold on. Verstappen third, and we come home in P5, and I'll take that. That is more than fine. What a race. Well then, guys, there we go. The race is done. Uh, very enjoyable. It's a very unique racetrack. Lots of good overtaking opportunities, especially if the cars can follow somewhat close around here. But if you guys enjoyed this video, then drop me a like. All the links in the description down below, guys, to all the mods you need will be down there. So go check those out if you haven't done so already. And uh, guys, if you're new to the channel, subscribe for more content like this. And also check out the two videos you're about to see on your screen right now. Like I said, daily F1 2020 My Team content on this channel, guys. Tips and tricks and all that kind of good stuff. So, you know, do get subscribed for that. And if you enjoyed this video, drop me a like. But guys, that is it from me here today at the Nürburgring. And I'll see you next time in my next video. But until then, it's goodbye from me.